students will continue with the 12th question let us read the question first from the top of a 7 meter high building the angle of elevation of the top of a cable tower is 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree determine the height of the tower students let us interpret the figure first in the question we have a cable tower so which is the cable tower here ab is a cable tower and you have a building the building is indicated as cd the height of the building is given as 7 cm that is cd is equal to 7 m so the height of the tower what is the height of the tower it is indicated as a b so we know that ba is 7 m how did you get it it is same as cd so be is 7 m and the rest of the height we take it as h m height h m so what is the total height of the cable tower it is h plus 7 ab is equal to h plus 7 and the height of the building is 7 m okay now in the question the concept of angle of depression is introduced in this figure you can see 45 degree marked at two places isn't it you can see 45 degree marked here and 45 degree marked here first one is angle ecb and the other one is at angle cbd can you point out which is the actual angle of depression the person is seeing from here so the angle of depression is ecb angle ecb is 45 degree and it is the angle of depression then how did you mark angle cbd as 45 degree here you can see it is also marked as 45 degree can you guess how you have learned the concept of parallel lines and its transversal this is ce and bd are parallel lines and cb is its transversal you have learned many pair of angles related to parallel lines and its transversal so angle ecb and angle cbd are interior alternate angles what is the peculiarity of interior alternate angles of a parallel line interior alternate angles of a parallel set of parallel lines are equal that is how you got angle ecb and cbd same clear so this is how you apply the concept of angle of depression and parallel lines and transversal in this type of question we use the same concept of parallel lines and transversal in the application of angle of depression now let us see tan 45 here tan 45 is cd by bd opposite side by adjacent side what is cd it is 7 so tan 45 is equal to 7 by db what is tan 45 it is 1 so 7 by db equal to 1 so from that what did you get db is equal to 7 meter db is equal to 7 meter in triangle aec which is a triangle aec this is the triangle now we are taking tan 60 degree here the case is of angle of elevation so tan 60 degree opposite side by adjacent side that is ae by ce ae by ce 
So, what is CE? CE you can calculate it same as DB. You got DB as 7 meter. So, tan 60 degree is equal to AE by 7. Now, tan 60 degree is equal to root 3. So, you can calculate it as H by 7 is equal to root 3. So, what is H? By cross multiplying, you will get H is equal to 7 root 3. Now, what is your question? Determine the height of the tower. What is the height of the tower? It is H plus 7 meter. H, you got it as 7 root 3. And we will take H plus 7 as 7 root 3 plus 7. We can take 7 common. So, the height of the tower is equal to 7 into root 3 plus 1 meter. What is the height of the tower? 7 into root 3 plus 1 meter. Hope you understood the concept. Next question. As observed from the top of a 75 meter high lighthouse, from the sea level, the angles of depression of two ships are 30 degree and 45 degree. If one ship is exactly behind the other on the same side of the lighthouse, find the distance between the ships. Now, you have a lighthouse 75 meter tall. So, that is AB is 75 meter and the horizontal distance from the eyesight is given and the angle of depression. Where are the ships? One ship is at D and the other ship is at C. You have two ships. One ship is at C and one ship is at D. The angle of depression of ship D is 30 degree and angle of depression of ship at C is 45 degree. The same concept of parallel line and its transversal is coming here. This is 30 degree. So, this angle will be 30 degree. Here, this angle is 45 degree. So, this angle is 45 degree. Why? Interior alternate angles formed by the transversal and the parallel lines are equal. Is that clear students? So, don't make any mistakes in calculating the angle of depression. Now, considering the triangle ABC, which is the triangle ABC? ABC, triangle ABC. Now, you have 45 degree here. What is tan 45? AB by BC. Opposite side by adjacent side. Now, tan 45 degree is 75 by BC. We have taken BC as Y meter. So, you will get Y is equal to 75 meter. Now, considering triangle ABD. Considering the second right triangle ABD, you have the angle as 30 degree. So, we will take again tan 30 degree. What is the value of tan 30 degree? It is 1 by root 3 equal to 75 by x plus y. What is x? x is the distance between the two ships. X is the distance between the two ships. Clear? Why we already got it as 75 meter. So, substituting these values, we will get 1 by root 3 is equal to 75 by X plus 75. Cross multiplying. Cross multiplying, we will get it as X plus 75 is equal to 75 root 3. 75 root 3. Now, what is x? Transposing this plus 75 to the right hand side, we will get it as 
minus 75. So, x is equal to 75 root 3 minus 75. Taking the common term 75 outside, we will get the distance between the two ships is equal to 75 into root 3 minus 1 meter. In this question, the most important thing to be noted is the calculation of or the marking of angle of depression. Marking of angle of depression using the concept parallel lines and its transversal. Is that clear to you children? By this we come to an end of today's session. So we have learned question number 10, 11, 12 and 13 in this session. Thank you. Have a nice day.